<laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> what do you mean? Alright, bye dudes, love you. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So y'all might notice something different about me. I actually have my natural hair out for the first time in like two years. So if this is not your first video of mine, you've probably seen my shaving my head at 3 a.m. because I'm crazy video, which I uploaded not too long ago. Um, basically, I'm gonna have the entire video linked down below so you can like see the whole process. So basically, about two years ago in July of 2018, I completely shaved my head like bald, like skip, nothing there. It was just me and my bald head. It's been it'll be two years in July, and this is April, May, June. It's like a year and 10 months basically. So, this is what my hair is looking like now. Let me give you all a close up. This is what it's looking like. I have it in a puff. That's enough talking. Let's get into the update. But before I cut my hair, um, I was going on three, four years natural and I had a big puff. Like my puff is pretty, it's a decent size now. But before, like my puff would, would have been like here. Like it would have taken up this whole space. I was over dealing with my hair. I was over dealing with my dry scalp, which is the real reason I shaved it off. And I just wanted to start all over. So let's start off with like the first six months after I shaved my head. So the night I shaved my head, honestly, I felt great. I felt fine. Um, as soon as I stopped recording, I got in the shower because you guys saw all that white stuff, that all that white stuff on my head. It was like really flaky, just due to dry scalp and stuff. So as soon as I got done filming I got in the shower I like scrubbed my head with a body brush and then I used a hair oil right after as well and I did that for the first pretty much every single day until I started growing hair back uh, I was only really bald bald for maybe like three four days because after those three four days I started to see hair on my head again I started to grow back but I just said I was bald because I felt like I didn't have any hair it didn't really hit me that I was fully like bald bald until I had to go to, in Houston we do this thing called Ibo Fest and it's basically like a Nigerian tribe festival and you know all the Nigerian girls would go and this is like three days after I shaved my head right? So I wanted to go with my best friend so I go to spend the night at her house and I was so insecure about the fact that I didn't have any hair. And by the time I got there everyone had their natural hair out, everyone was wearing twist outs and afros and braids and stuff like that and I didn't have any hair at all so I had a wig on and I glued my wig on in such a way that I wasn't planning on taking it off until I came home. Like the whole three days I was at the festival in my friend's house I was not planning on taking it off at all. And being at that festival where everybody else had their natural hair out it really kind of a blow to my confidence even though nobody could see that I didn't have any hair because I had like a full frontal glued on I still knew that I didn't have any hair under there and that affected my confidence so yeah anyways back to for six months so I would scrub my head in the shower pretty much every day until my hair started growing back and when it did start growing back I would put like oil on my hair and my scalp and so when I put it on my head my scalp would start tingling and I honestly feel like being able to wash my hair every single day and moisturize it every single day was part of the reason that it grew back so full I still wore wigs like that was summer before junior year of high school so I wore wigs every single day you guys and if you know me that is the most exhausting thing ever so I did braids for the first time in January of 2019 which was now like five six months after after I shaved my head and that was the goal I just wanted my hair to be just long enough so I have a teeny weeny afro so that I can get box braids and that was the first time I wasn't washing and moisturizing my hair every single day I didn't start experiencing itchy scalp again at first but definitely as the months progressed and I started wearing braids more and more often, I definitely experienced itchy scalp again. Like I would say after January, I wore braids back to back for like six, seven months. Did my hair by myself, I would try out different colors, but like as soon as I take it out, I put it back in. Like if I took my hair out on a Friday, 
Saturday or Sunday. I had my hair done and I had my hair done for Monday at school. A couple of months after I started wearing braids, I my hair was just long enough for me to do like a fake slip down. So I would, even though my hair was like this long, I would take a whole bunch of eco styler gel, a board bristle brush, a flat iron, a straightener, whatever I needed, and I would literally sit there for almost an hour slicking my hair up and putting all this product in it and I tie it really tight. And so it would just sit in the shape of the puff and then I take the extension ponytail and I would just put it on top. So I wore that in between my braids. So basically from January all the way through the summer, I just wore my twists back to back, different types of hairstyles, different types of twists when my hair was always braided. So yeah, start of senior year, I started wearing wigs again. Sometimes I switch back and forth between braids and wigs, wearing my natural hair really wasn't an option at the start of senior year because I just still, like I, wasn't used to having short natural hair like nobody saw my real hair they didn't need to see my real hair i just started wearing my hair out again like hairstyles that involve my real hair i would say january of this year um so this is coming on my second year from having a shaved head i would do like drawstring ponytails i love drawstring ponytails that's like my favorite hairstyle to do with my real hair because it's like my scalp is breathing and my hair is out but it, it still looks like voluminous and it still looks long. I would do like top knot buns, um, but it's not like I was wearing my hair like out like this. And so yeah, I did, I had my whole ponytail phase, went back to wearing wigs for a little while, went back to wearing braids for a little while, and it brings me to the March, April period, which was spring break, and that's when I took my hair out and I saw that my hair had basically grown back almost to, what it was, almost to what it was before. Not quite, but very, very close. So yeah, that's basically it. Like I know you guys were expecting things to be more eventful, but that's really the truth. I did not wear my short natural hair out at any point. I didn't like it, I didn't want to at all. And I just felt like I didn't have the face to pull off short hair. Like I feel like when sometimes when girls are really like tall and they're really thin they kind of look like a model like they can pull off short hair but i'm not tall i'm not thin like having really short hair like that is just gonna make me look fat like i'm i that's just my personal opinion i just really kept my products to a minimum i didn't even start buying natural hair products again until maybe the beginning of senior year so moving along to today the update how my hair is doing today and things like that so now because I haven't had my hands in my hair and stuff like that, I'm kind of over natural hair to be honest. Like the way that I'm wearing my hair right now, this puff is giving me sophomore Adrana. It's giving me 14. With my hair like this, I don't feel like I look 18. I don't feel like I look not grown, but like at least somewhat mature. Also my hair is just a little bit more difficult to manage now because it's fully, fully natural, no damage, nothing. My hair is like in that natural African state right now and I'm slowly getting it back to where it's heat trained again and it can stay straight for a long time and stuff. I really can't believe that I'm not bald anymore. Like I watched that video and I, I see myself with the short hair and I'm like, wow. For a good minute, I really didn't have any hair at all. And now I see my hair, even when I'm washing it, I'm combing it, I'm cornrowing it under my wigs, I'm just like, wow, I really have hair. Based on my experience, would I recommend it? No. I would not recommend somebody to shave their hair, nor would I do it again for a couple of reasons. First of all, I can't believe my best friend really sat on that phone and let me put a clipper to my 16 year old head and be completely without hair for two years. Like. That was really fake of her. The next time she wants to do something stupid, I'm gonna let her. And second of all, having no hair at all limited me to having wigs. Like, you cannot do anything with your hair. You can't wear a ponytail. You can't put it in a puff. You literally cannot do anything other than afro and wig. Girl, no, and just no. If you wanna start all over, I would just say cut your hair really short. So yeah, guys, that is my shaved hair update. I hope I touched on everything. If you guys have any questions for me, any like suggestions or whatever, definitely leave them in the comments down below and I will reply to every single question because I know I kind of posted that video and then I left you guys hanging. So don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I mean, you're in quarantine. It's not like you have anything better to do so you might as well keep watching my videos and I'll see you guys in my next video.